Plants do several things for us uh, on Earth, and we need them to do the same things for us ultimately in space. The first and most obvious thing is that they produce oxygen and consume carbon dioxide. The second point is if those plants are something you can eat, then they're a consumable product. The third thing that they do is that they are great cleaners of water. Didn't have to use any chemistry to do it. The plant does it for you. The H23 is an experiment that is looking at epigenetic changes that are associated with plants that live and grow on the International Space Station. Advanced Plant Habitat is currently the most complex plant growth system that's ever flown in space. It's about the size of a French door refrigerator. It has the ability to selectively provide light, maintains temperature, relative humidity, the amount of carbon dioxide inside the chamber. It just operates kind of like, you know, what happens in an ecosystem here on Earth. People often ask, you know, since it's so challenging to grow plants in space, why do we do that? When you take any organism into space, whether it's a human or a plant, they often have an interesting response to this novel, stressful environment. Sometimes the plants will pull something out of the toolbox and do something wild that we didn't even know that they could do. Maybe there's something useful in that that they can then capitalize on on the ground. The most exciting thing about this experiment is that this is the first time that anyone has asked this question of, of can we learn how space impacts not only the first generation of an organism growing in there, but how does it affect its progeny? We're entering into an era where we are going to depend on plants for health and well-being for producing oxygen, for recycling water, and for producing food, we have been able to really test the boundaries of, of biology in space. 